bit, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm losing my boner. Oh, I know what you mean. I gotta do one. Here we go. We, we don't even do that. I know, but I've watched you do it so many times. I, wonder I know. No, I gotta <laughs> fucking... Here we go. <laughs> No, my bonus. No, it's just like my thing now. Like I just have to do that every fucking video. God, it's, it's like it, it's the calling card, man. I know it really is. Where's yours? Where's yours? I, I was the first one. I fucking set it off. Um, whatever. I could do a loud one, but I still I'll hate peak you. the mic. Do it. Right, Ow! That just yeah. That that hurt my ears outside the mic. Sorry. It didn't hurt my ears. Yeah, it was good mic, in here. It's kind of weird. It was, Put it your bad. headphones on, bitch. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Headphones. Headphones. Whatever. Welcome back, motherfuckers, to the GDPC, not PS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he wrote on the board. The Go Deeper Podcast. Pod show. Cast. Pod show. Pod show? Pod show. PS. It should be a pod show. I love you. <laughs> Today, special like guest, we got my buddy. Alec Shore Shower. I oh, watch Shower. It's like a hot and cold shower. Yeah. Right? Is that how you say People it? call me Shower Beer, so, you know. Shower Beer. <laughs> what a fucking coincidence, because. Being a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Should I try to get another good one? Yes, let's get a goodie. Like I said, I'm not. Mine was a, mediocre. I'm not a beer guy, so I'll give it a shot. <laughs> For not being a beer guy. I know. He's got, like, the best beer uh, cracks yeah. ever. These are. Rogue Dreamland American Lager, one pint, and I just got them because the can looks fucking awesome. And I know they say don't judge a beer by its cover. That's, That's not what they say. Dope. They say books, but I'll get one too. Okay. That was okay. Mine was slow. And you know sweet, what? You know what? His are better because he's such a good filmographer. <laughs> True. All right, ready, ready. <laughs> Piece of fucking shit. <laughs> oh, that's good. Wow. <laughs> one of your that things is lying. It's either yeah. your face or your words. <laughs> <laughs> right. <one of> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Dude, that, you can hear that. Dude, God. that hurt me. I came, like, so deep. It was all... Oh, oh. <laughs> you came deep? Is that what you did? Yeah, you came yeah. so deep? It was so deep in there. Yeah. I want to I see what you think. Huh? I like it. Oh, you bad. did it already. Okay. Um. All right. Dude, these are good. American lagers, bro. 4.8. It's also like noon. So is that is that right? <laughs> is that ABV is four point eight? I don't fucking know. I don't care at this point. Yeah, yeah it is. I've never been a big beer guy. Yeah, ABV is four point eight. I'm also like fourteen years old. So. You I look know. like it. <clears throat> God, it's the hair. Dude, I was with Anthony. I miss your Bieber hair. I know. You had Bieber hair before. Mm -hmm. I used to watch your videos. But then I got used married to. and I had to cut it. So. I used to. You used to watch his videos. The fuck, man! Uh, They've gotten yeah. better. You gotta keep. <laughs> no, I, I really, I have watched them. I've watched them still. My favorite video still is the Barbie Rod. That's the, video. that's the best fucking video. That's the best fucking ever. video. That's my, ever. that's my calling card. It I've, is. I've legitimately watched that video like five or six times. It's just for a YouTube shit. video. Video YouTube videos I watch once and that's it. Mm -hmm. So for me to say five or six times, that's a fucking big deal. I, I don't have, usually yeah. go back to a video. I was playing your shit to my cousins yeah, yeah. in California when we went down. I was like, I got a buddy who caught a surgeon on his kayak with a barbie rod, and they're like, bullshit. <laughs> Dude, like, I show that video. Hang on a second. I, I show that people that to people, too. Like, that's a video where I'm like, ah, you got to see this shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you catch If you guys have not seen that video, we're going to leave a link. 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 <laughs> I speak words sometimes. Uh, yeah, Link like, down in the description below. My man Alec caught a motherfucking sturgeon from a kayak with the Barbie rod. 10. And landed 2 it. 10.2 million on TikTok. 10.2 million on TikTok, bitch. Holy shit. 10.2 million insane. on TikTok. That's crazy. That's what I've been waiting for, and that shit is overwhelming. 17.5 yeah. thousand comments. What's wild about that? And I that, replied to a lot of them. What, what, wow. what I don't understand about that, wow. why, why that's so wild to me, is you can ask Mondo. I have a bass rod that I like to take out for surgeon. And I've been trying to break this rod <laughs> for so fucking long. And I've come so close. Like I, I, it's a, and it's a, uh, it's a, what's an extra heavy or a heavy. Oh yeah. It's, dude, a, it's, like a, it's, a, it's a stick. It's a broomstick. And you would think it would snap. And I just like handling a fish. That's that handling a fish. That's that big on that small of a rod. 
even if it's heavy like that, I just, it was like so straining. Yeah. It's been so bad on that rod where I've had to hand the rod to him. Yeah. I cracked mid fish. it. The Barbie rod? But I just yeah. don't understand how you handle a, that. That's even smaller rod. It's like, it's, there's Dude, nothing to that rod. I did this, grabbed the line. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw, yeah, <laughs> I like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At one point, you grabbed the rod, and I was like, oh, that's going. That's That rod's done. And then one time, cracks, you grabbed it like this, like, yeah, like the rod yeah. like this. And yeah. if the reel wasn't on it, because the sturgeon took a run, and it went. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that reel. Yep. That yeah. shit was wild, dude. That's yep. fucking crazy. But that's not the only crazy video this guy does. He fucking went to the river, I don't want to say which river, and he caught mm -hmm. smallmouth underwater wearing scuba gear. I saw that, too. That's so fucking insane. That. Well, yeah, that Is that not really, crazy? really cool, yeah, yeah. You know what's really fucking annoying about that? Huh. 600 views. That's insane to me. Six hundred. They don't translate that's, to YouTube. I don't understand that. It's, it's like you're fishing and you're like, I want to catch that smallie up there. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw one that like fucking it. I was like, <gasps> you could hear in the, it was like, Ooh. I know, I know. <laughs> that was right, like, you yeah. caught that one too. Is that, isn't that no, the one you a, caught? It was a different one. I, it, was, it had to have been like five and a half. Like, that wasn't the I've one that you caught with the big. piece of karate that you did, that you put on? That was probably three and a half, but still. Ah, I th you made it seem to be like it was the same fish. I but thought dude, it was. they just, they'll just sit and watch you. They don't care. It's yeah. really weird. Once you're down there, they're just like, oh, what the fuck is that? I just, <laughs> I would just like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I should, I should, I what should was that call sound her. again? What was that sound again? Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Reminds me of, <laughs> reminds me of Beth. <laughs> well, speaking of which, because I was talking about how when I play video games, I like to seduce people in the ears. <laughs> 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 Just give yeah. them a little. Oh, yeah. But I was working playing, for me. So. I was playing games and. <laughs> <laughs> I right, keep drinking, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's we crazy. Are, we are at my house already. That's how you know if you <laughs> ever play online video games with that. Like, if you're about to get fucking murked, you're going to... I'm coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got you. But, dude, I was playing, and I asked the dude if he saw that Sturgeon video, and he had. No like, fucking way. Like, some yeah. rando? Uh-huh. And I've, like, met people that have seen that. It's just weird, like, 10.2 million. That's a lot of people. It is a fucking That's lot of a people. a fuck ton of people. I mean, like, probably 6.8 million is me rewatching it. And then 1.2 is mine. Yeah. yeah, so. But still, like... <laughs> I'm know. like ten. It was super cool. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, dude. The most videos I've, most views I've ever got on a TikTok video is like five. No, it's like eight hundred k, and it's the one video where oh, yeah, yeah. I got fucking hosed down. I play in a band. I don't oh know, yeah, that video? fucking uh, yeah, fucking you asshole said, yeah. ass neighbor. I knew that was gonna go good. Like, right when I saw that, I was like... That was a good that's, one, too. As soon as you sent it to me, I was like, yeah, that's a good fucking video. It went up there. Not yeah. not, not a million, a lot less from a 10 million, but 800K. Mm. And then I got, like, I don't fucking know the comments, but whatever. That's fucking... That's Snickel Fritz hours compared to 10.2 million. The shitty part is, though, bro, I don't know why these views on TikTok don't translate to the YouTube channel. That's what Troy's been trying to fucking die. But see, how did, how'd that video do on YouTube? Well, that's the thing. So I, I linked it up. It's it's sad how it, it doesn't transfer. How it transfer. I mean, it's it's good for me. It was 500 subs in one day, mm -hmm. which is fucking crazy. Right mm -hmm. on YouTube. But, yeah. Oh wow. But still, 10.2 million and only 500 people came over to YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's because they'd rather watch those little quick snippets. Yeah, like people, people are lazy. They really are. I'm one of them. Oh, YouTube's dead. Don't say that you piece of shit. This is, <laughs> this is, that's the only platform that has this podcast. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Which I got to figure out how to. Do you know how to Spotify a podcast? I was gonna ask where you guys do it besides YouTube, but nowhere yet. YouTube. I'm 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 brainstorming <laughs> that shit still. Um, the guys, I'm gonna because this is this is my debut, by the way, first podcast ever. So. Hey, popping yeah, cherries. There we go. Popping fucking cherries. Dude, best place to start. Why not? Take your yeah. virginity. Take but, your V card. But then I got two in a row. I got one Sunday. But uh, they have like an ad in the beginning of how to put your stuff on Spotify and Apple Music. So really, check that out, and then you can. Yeah, well, out. either way, if you're on it, I'm gonna fucking watch it. But I need to figure out how to actually Spotify and Apple Music our shit. And yeah. there's no way to do it for free unless you're like a fucking. Because I've coder. heard of, there's been a couple person, couple persons. There's been a couple persons that I've talked to. Hanging there's out been with a me. couple people that I've talked to. If you hang out with me long enough, yeah, you start talking Fuck, like me. You fucking rub off. You talk good. all over me. Um, <laughs> Dude, holy shit. And that's why i don't drink beer <laughs> yeah uh but no there's a couple of people i've talked to you it's like it's not really a podcast because you guys don't just do the audio it's a video you know, podcast i was like it's a 
It's a video yeah. podcast, which is the podcast of today, I guess you could say. Honestly, yeah. It yeah. really is. Like if it's, I, I don't think I've ever listened to a, that's not true, I have. A podcast, just audio, I listen to The Office Ladies. Yeah. Because I'll suck their dicks. Jen Fisher. Um, oh, fuck, what was I going to say? I guess it doesn't matter because I forgot already. I nice. would say if you freaking forget, it wasn't that important. I told that to my wife while we're shopping. I was going to get something. No, you weren't. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't remember, then you fucking, you don't remember. So, dude, when you edit, you said you've edited podcasts, right, for other people, Anthony and stuff. Yeah. Um, when you use Adobe, because I'm assuming you use Premiere to edit, yeah. do they have a feature for, like, multi-cam, uh, or do you have to just do it single? No, basically, so I do, like, a screen record of, like, the podcast, because he's usually, it's usually digital like over okay yeah 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 yeah. and then i have like one camera here one camera here and then i have to line everything up and just split in between fuck it's a pain in the ass there's, I mean, it looks there's good gotta anyway. be a loophole there's gotta be a multi-cam because the app that i use the the software that i use it's called cyberlink power director pro and i have a feature in within my app that's multi-cam designer and i can have up to four different um camera angles like one two three and four and it lines up the audio for me, and I just push play on the podcast, like hit record, and I can click the thumbnail of which camera it splices to. And it just does a live recording. Yeah, I just layer up. Oh, that beer's good to me. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean, because that's how I used to do it, too. You layer up each file with the audio, right? And then just yeah. split between. Wow. <laughs> Let's throw <laughs> I know what I you mean. I mean, that's how I do my, like, when I'm on my kayak, because I... Two cameras externally, and so I just line it up and I split in between. That's how I used to do all my fishing videos too. When I found out I could do this, I was like, I'll edit the podcast. It's I'm really sure easy. I'm doing the long way around, but like, there's got to be. It a way. works for me, but it, and I get paid if, hourly, so like, fuck if it takes longer or whatever. I didn't, I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Forget everything <laughs> that just fucking happened. You need to get a motherfucking computer. What uh, software are you using? Are you gonna use to edit? Probably Adobe. Adobe, you piece of shit. Yeah. Fucking well, Adobe. I told you, I went to school for Adobe, so we've talked about this before. I actually went to school for film editing and stuff like that. And, I, and I'm actually... And yet, a, I edit the vodka. <laughs> right, right. And he edits some... I don't have a computer. I don't have... Well, I have a computer, but it's shit. And we have a bunch of laptops, and all of them are not even fast enough to run anything. But, uh, but I'm actually a certified studio tech, too. Like, I used to... I went to school for, like, setting up new studios and everything like that, so... I just don't do it because there's no money in it. <laughs> that's, that's, there that's is now. Bad. I bet you can. I bet yeah, there's you a can lot of money, but I'd have to go back job. to school because it's different now than it when is. I did Technology it. Technology has yeah, advanced tech, since '99. In, in like an insane amount. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a slightly. 90, did you say '99? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking bitch. <laughs> no more floppy disks. No more. <laughs> yeah, that's my ride. Yeah, I'm a slightly successful YouTuber that dropped out of college and somehow managed to start a business, but. Bro. Fuck, it w that's literally YouTube was my portfolio. Really? Like Anthony said he had like 30 people. He How'd like you meet him? Craigslist. I was, I was like depressed having to go into the airport. I'm like, fucking this nine to five shit sucks because I worked five to three thirty in the morning. Fuck that. And then sometimes it was three thirty in the morning to like 5 p.m. because I was on, I, I was new. So they threw you wherever. Yeah. They were like, and we so need you here. Found him on Craigslist. Sent him my YouTube channel, a few things I did, and he said, like, I was the only person worth watching. And then YouTube helped me, helped him, like, discover my personality, too. Right. But he had, like, old people come in with, like, CDs, and I'm like, here's my stuff. And it was like, yeah. And the rest is history. I mean, it's been two and a half years. That's, oh, fucking, that's fucking rad, dude. That's fucking hell of the yeah. real estate, because that dude's a real estate agent, right? So yeah. He gets, yeah, he's, he, he's like, number two in the county for Douglas County. No shit. It's the shit, dude. And... It's actually like people have called him, be like, "Who's your video guy?" And now I'm doing like landscaping projects and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and yeah, it's it's weird. I've done landscaping it's projects, but as the Mexican doing the work. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it though. Fucking I was like, say it, I'm gonna get fucking. Oh, dude, you're gonna I'm get gonna, canceled. Yeah, no, nah, you know what? I'm me, already I'm not, canceled. I'm not even. I don't even have a presence. I know. And so you, technically, I can't. But get canceled, but then you want to be one of the backlash boys without a presence. Oh, Ooh. Bitch. By the way, the Backlash Boys want to talk about that. Do it's I want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's a I'm club exclusively anti Matt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the slogan. Fuck, you guys. fuck that fuck Matt guy. That Matt fuck guy. That guy. <laughs> and his FTMG, fuck that Matt guy. And his fucking beard. <laughs> <laughs> his, all of it. 
We would have we would have put you on, but you forgot to wear a hat this episode. So we're just gonna go ahead and fucking cross that list right off. Well, the, the whole thing is like God. we have this core group, but we can't all fish together because it's impossible. I, li- I live in Eugene. Speaking of which, I spent money to come see you guys. So I know I love, love. you so much. I love. know. Oh, yeah, I love you so much. In this awesome economy, dude. like yeah. fuck. I know. I know. I feel <laughs> like that I was a gallon. I feel like I should give you gas money to get back <laughs> home. Like, no, we're good. We think you're probably guys are with Chelsea Clinton. <laughs> right. Holy I got shit. paid yesterday. We're all good. Hey. Oh, okay, there you but, go. Yeah. Do you give it weekly? Not just in hand jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out. Does that mean cash? No, that means hand jobs. <laughs> yeah. No, it's speaking it's, of which, there's payment to be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> just two unenthusiastic hand jobs. Sweet. Unenthusiastic, <laughs> very unenthusiastic. God damn it! <laughs> you done yet? <clears throat> no, the backlash boys. We got you who lives in Eugene. We got. Scott, who lives in Albany. We got Troy, who lives in fucking those sticks somewhere in Oregon City. I live in beautiful, crime-free Southeast Portland, Gresham. We got e- Evans in Salem. Yeah. And Riley. I don't fucking know where we're at. Wilsonville or something, or Tiger or something like that. Yeah, dude, we're spread all over like COVID, man. Yeah, it's we're like spread like peanut butter over yeah. over Matt's balls. So that's that's. The and thing. then if I went in, which I'm not going to because I'm mm-hmm. not that cool. If we but. if we need security, we'll definitely. Oh, that's up. the point. We'll, we'll like call you. you to see if you know anybody. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like the big projects, the big yeah. big projects are like, we're trying to get all of us, but that doesn't mean just the core group. But like a lot of the smaller videos we're gonna do, we're gonna need more than just a couple people because schedules and location and. Yeah. So everything. Like we'll get we'll get Zach in there and we'll get yeah. R J and like all the people that are part of the the community but like of you like local youtubers as well but we're like i don't know i've known you scott and troy for what five six years so i've known you since like a week before you got ball hair which by the way that should be any day now yeah i'm still waiting on that yeah so we've known each other for a while ass hair's been going for a while <laughs> <laughs> oh, ass hair though we got that oh, shit we all got that in common doing, <laughs> doing <laughs> braids with that motherfuckers i can show you what mondo's looks like dude we went surgery oh, fishing and did some great fucking video it's literally that it's a video our, of his ass hair it, it, dude it's it's actually our background it's on our, our header uh, it's, it's our the, header it's on our header youtube for the youtube bro fucking pieces you of never shit. noticed that uh, he probably doesn't even yeah he doesn't Speaking Look of which, sorry if I have to take a dump in the mills. I took like three or four dumps before I left, and I left at nine in the morning. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. was releasing a sturgeon. <laughs> yeah. <I> was, <laughs> what it, kind? <laughs> was a sharp, huh? It was a, a brown one. <laughs> it was a brown sturgeon. That's, I can't believe you put that as a header. But as soon as, oh, I got, want to see our logo? Have you seen our logo? No. Uh, you haven't even seen our fucking logo, you piece of shot. You don't show me any... Dude, he's seen the fucking video of the place you're moving this to, and uh, I whoops. haven't even fucking seen it yet. You I don't haven't? even know what it looks like. No, motherfucker, you don't... We talk like every day. Oh, it's a purple room. That's, I told you. So, by the way, we're moving locations with the show. <gasps> we're in the mic. We're... Uh, it's got a fireplace? Yeah. Oh, shit. Are we going to put fires on while we're, like... Fucking could. Filming? Yeah. It's going to be Dude, like surrounded around... Around the fire, that'd be kind of dope. Ambiance. That'd be kind of cool. Ambiance. What does that say? That's, uh, my sister was rebelling. Look at the stars and how they shine for you, or something like that. <laughs> it's perfect. And we're going to leave that up? No, I'm covering so all that fucking shit. Yeah. So, by the way, we're moving the show out of my garage into an actual room. And, yeah, oh, I saw that. I did see that. I did dude, see that's that. yeah, dope. Yeah. Is I that love not, the beer. Is that not bad? Is that not badass? <laughs> Who so did, did you did you ever see the original one? Zach's oh. wife. Dude, that... Zach's wife, good. Zach's wife is a so uh, graphic designer. The original one I hand drew while I was in here, and I was drunk when I drew it. Was and that that's it? a true story. And it looks <laughs> almost identical to that. Oh, we're gonna- yeah, dude, I my f- I sat on my phone screen, and I, like, broke it with my ass. Damn, you got some sharp ass cheeks. Thickums over there. <laughs> I, I broke a fucking couch with my ass. Recently. <laughs> Just fucking three days ago. Well, it was no, okay, it wasn't with my ass. It was with my hip, and I was fucking suplexing my daughter into the fucking couch. <laughs> <laughs> and I ended up breaking our couch. That's our true story. It sucks. Oh, but, yeah. God. Wife's pissed off at me. But, yeah, my, my, the broke, where it was broken kept put my passcode in, so it permanently locked my phone, so I had to format it. <laughs> oh, no, shit. Your right? ass put the fucking code in? Yeah. Like, yeah, so it was permanently locked. I lost all my wedding photos, like. 
everything. Oh, no. Like all phone number. Like I had to do a clean. Usually setup. when they ask for your fingerprint, you put a finger. You don't. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Ass cheek print. It just, it just, just making sure nobody hair. gets into my phone. It just measures the ass hair Please in that put, area. Um, uh, <laughs> like, fingerprint to unlock phone. Not enough. Uh, right. All right, we're in. <laughs> yeah, that was bullshit. That's crazy. You lost all your fucking shit. You don't iCloud? I don't iCloud either. Though. I haven't now. Yeah. Now. <laughs> oh, speaking of phone shit, though, that's what I got to tell I you. I need you to tell me your motherfucking so, secret that you didn't want to tell well, me. Well, it's not a secret. It's so, a secret. what it is, if I got some good news. I finally I got some really good news the other day. Uh, you told me one part of it. Can I say the one part? Which part? Because you told me it's a twofer, and you told me the first part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say it, yeah. You're going to be an uncle. Yeah, I'm going to be an uncle officially. So I'm an uncle on my wife's side. You know, our, uh, you her, have an uncle on your wife's side? I, I am an uncle on my wife's okay. side. Okay, That's okay, okay. Yeah, so my sister-in-law, before she passed away, she had two kids. I have two nephews on that side. Um, I just got a call from my brother. They've been trying to have my brother and his wife been trying to have a kid for ten years. They've been fucking. And they lost. Sounds like fun. They lost a kid. Um, That's the worst. In the first trimester, they lost. You know, it happens. That sucks. So it's bad. really sad. It's you know, it's been horrible for them. And I didn't know. I was just fucking. I, seriously, last night I poured myself a drink. I was like, I'm just gonna get fucked up. And like, it really that really did happen. By the way. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was just pouring myself a drink. And the next thing I know, my, my dad's yelling, oh, yeah, you're going to be an uncle. And I was like, from fucking who? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and so I walk in there and my brother's on the phone. He tells me all about it. He's like, yeah, I sent you a picture on your pic to your phone that you're going to be an uncle. And it's a boy and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, cool. So I look at my phone and the fucking, you know how like it doesn't show you the pic, but it shows you like whatever the text was. Uh-huh. And it says that one person sent you a pic. Yeah. This is what the fucking... This is what it says. I want you to read it. That's why I wanted to show you. But it's from Richie. And read that. It says dick pic. (laughs) (laughs) It fucking says dick pic. It says dick pic. So is that that how he saved the file? That's how he sent me the photo of my nephew that he's going to be a boy. He's like, it's a dick pic. Because there's a dick in the ultrasound. (laughs) Jesus Christ. So uh, me, 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 you know what I mean? I was like, holy shit. Like, all I could think was... Damn, when this kid's like a fucking teenager or whatever, I'm going to be like, hey, the first picture I've got of you is a dick pic. Uh, and be like that creepy uncle guy. Yeah. Like, that's fucking you know, that's yeah. a good start. Dude, dude, that's fucking horrible, I seen your dick since before you was born, boy. Right. And so now it, that's my memory of like the first time I ever heard I'm going to be a fucking uncle on my bro- from my. You What's know your brother's brother? name? Richie. Dick. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it's a dick pic. I know. Yeah. Is he going to be a junior? Because that's going to wrap the story no, up. No. So oh, perfect. See, dick brother, junior. My brother is a, is a junior. So my Dick dad, Jr. Jr. Yeah, yeah, no, he didn't want Dick to do the third. Let's he didn't want go. to do Richard the third. So <laughs> he already put the name out there. I don't know if he wants me to like put the name out to everybody. So I'm not going to say all that. I don't know. Matthew. No, oh, no. He, he, he said fuck no. Mongo. Okay. No. Damn it. No. <laughs> I have nobody named after me ever. Not even my son. When he my said, "Oh, it's, like, he said." By like, the way, Matt was never on the table, and I was like, "Thank God, because those guys are assholes." Dude. <laughs> <laughs> What about my follow me? No, 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 no Mateos, none of that shit. Like all of them are fucked. <laughs> like, I got, I have a nephew named Mateo, for real. For the yeah, real. is he an asshole? Because fucking, I'm just saying. Yeah. He's like uh, almost two. Okay, is he an asshole? But yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah, he is. Dude, Anyone had, with kids, like that's yeah. I had a cousin, one cousin for 18 years, and then all of a sudden I have like f- five or six new cousins. Wow, like my aunts be. Busting they be out, fucking baby. like, well, one of the ants it was two accidentals, and then my other is just like, I think I got, like I roll my eyes every time I'm, she's like, your aunt's pregnant, I'm like fucking, they need fuck more, again. Jesus Christ, this is fourteen, it's fucking like, shit, <laughs> this is so well, like I have no connection with them because they're all like toddlers, they're like two, and, and then my other cousin when I go see him we just fucking smoke pot all fucking day, which fucking is, hell yeah. That's cool. That's fun. Time. That's crazy. You only got one cousin your age. How many? That's basically my brother because I only have a sister. my cousin. My cousins are yeah. all younger than me. You're the oldest of all your cousins. Yeah. How many? Of you well, got? no, I'm not the oldest. I mean, my brother's the oldest, obviously, but you know. Oh, I mean, I mean, yeah, of your yeah. cousins. Out of my, uh, yeah, we're older than all my cousins. Oh, nice. You got but, a lot of them. Um, no, we're white, so we have like you know. Um, um, I have, <laughs> dude. Well, my <laughs> wife's my wife's family's Mormon, so she's got like. They like Those are different. So that's many a whole different class of white planet. people. Like that's a whole different got, class of white people. Over there. <laughs> we, we, we've counted them before. I think on record accounted for. I think I got like seventy something cousins. First cousins. 
Jesus Christ. I have four. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. No. 40? No, no, I have no, 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 because I'm thinking, I forgot about like my Well, here's side. the thing. My, so I have like, I have like eight. Here's the thing though. My dad is one of 15 kids. Holy shite. My dad's yeah. got seven brothers and seven sisters. Yeah. Have you met all of them? Yes. Because my dad's got two brothers I've never met. One's homeless here, but <laughs> we try to. Uh, I got a homeless cousin. Him. He's he's homeless in California now because he got robbed out here and he moved back to California oh, to be homeless. Yeah, I don't even sense. know what he yeah. fucking looks like. Like every time I'm downtown, I'm like, was that him? Yeah. Kind of look like my dad. Well, I know, my, 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 <laughs> my cousin does a bunch of heroin and shit, so I know exactly what he looks like. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I saw those some shit. Yeah, it looks like every no, heroin addict. I know all of them, dude. Fucking Mexican families are fucking Christmas. Mm-hmm. My dog. Not only do I know all of them, there was four or five tamales for each of us. Mm-hmm. Just add that shit up. Uh, that's it. You got to start like making tamales like fucking three days ahead. For like. for Christmas, we start making them around Halloween time. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, there's a lot of us, dude. You uh, recently uh, did some house sitting, right? Oh, last week. yeah. That's why we didn't have a podcast last week. Uh, yeah. Excuse us. <laughs> so I got voluntold. I was going to be doing some house sitting for a voluntold. friend. <laughs> voluntold. <laughs> it was voluntold. It was the wife, the one who was on the show last time. Yep. So, yep. so basically she's like, yeah, I told our friends that we'd watch their house while they're gone. And they own like 27 acres out in Gaston. It's a fucking farm. Like a working farm, like they like have actual animals. Yeah, and they have goats. They have a lamb. They have like fucking sixty chickens. Keep and Troy like, away from the goats. You know what I mean? We had to feed all these animals, do all this shit. So I'm like, I have no fucking no nothing in me wants to go fucking be on a farm and feed animals and shit. Do you have to tug on any udders? No, see, they're all little, so they're they're oh. still they're still building. That They've only lived fun. there for a couple like, months. Like no homo, like <laughs> <laughs> no homo. I'm gonna melt a female cow. <laughs> Gra- grabbing teats all day. Well, is I like, mean, it's, it's, that's I know I it's do, I know it's a female cow. Day. I know it's a motherfucking <laughs> yeah, female cow. Yeah, yeah. But tell me that doesn't he's look off. like a fucking jug with four cocks. Like, <laughs> yeah. so he just wants to sit there and go. Ha, ha, ha. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Thank you for the um, sound bite because that you just gave me yeah. something for oh, the thumbnail. How'd it go? Yeah, no, just like that. How'd it go? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that. <laughs> like that, like that. So, so anyway, so but we the goats. I mean, the goats are so little; they're still bottle fed. Oh, so man. we're like feeding. I like the mic. Sorry. Oh, it's all right. It's that was it's Troy. Troy's it was right. Troy's mic. So, Troy's yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, oh fuck! But yeah, so the goats there are bottle fed. Like they're all fucking little babies. So like. You know, they they were chill. They were actually really cool. One of them was doing backflips on my back and shit and being all stupid. And I'm <laughs> like, this thing's fucking rad, you know? Is the ones you can spook and they like... Ugh. No, they don't. They didn't have oh. those fainting the fainting ones or those whatever. Like those fun. things are fucking rad. I, I would love to just... Bah, and it's like... <laughs> all fucking dead. That's me. <laughs> like, That's me know. in the presence of any danger. But I've learned that fucking chickens... Like chickens, there's two kinds of chickens. They're either they're fucking good cool or really good. Or they're fucking assholes dude and fucking roosters are the biggest assholes on the planet oh, like, my, give a shit. That's why they call yeah. them cocks so like we went in the coops because <laughs> like i said there's 60 of them so there's two different coops and this giant chicken run in the middle so we go into one of the coops to grab the eggs out do all that shit we had like fucking 12 eggs off of one coop nice and so we go to the other coop to go get them and this fucking rooster just charges my five-year-old and so I threw her behind me and I fucking punted that motherfucker. With my I kicked him. I was like, made a 30 yard dude, field dude. goal. Kicked it's him, good. Kicked, kicked him across that fucking, that coop, dude. I was like, what the fuck? And then it, it, it kept like flare, flaring up and fucking doing its wings and shit and being like, yeah. And I was like, what dude? So I stomped and it fucking came right at me and I booted it again. They'll go for your eyes. And dude, I fucking booted yeah. that thing. The thing is, is like, I never noticed it, but they have like, like their talents, talents. they got like talents, that. bro. That's why they do cockfights. And they stand up. Then when they cut, well, they they like stand up tall when they come running at you, and then they flare their wings out and they fucking kick their legs up. Yep. And they were like flap, flap, flap on the sides of my boots, and I was like, motherfucker, just bam, just you know what I mean. And I kept punting, and I did it like five times before the fucker left me alone. We and then we ended up getting like there was only one egg in that fucking coop. <laughs> no, like, all, all that, that for shit. one egg, dude. Jesus I was so Christ. pissed. I was like, fuck you. And then I saw that thing later, and it wouldn't even look at me. Every time I looked at it, and I was like walking towards it, and fucking take off. He'd be the like, other way. He'd be like, oh bitch, yeah, yeah that's the boot. <laughs> I used to I used to work on a pot farm, and I was a trimmer, and they, they had a bunch of yeah, no sponsors. Uh, I know. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> this was before it was legal too, but whatever. Um, 
they had a rooster named Blackie Chan, and there was a couple. Yes. Best and name did ever. you understand the words that were coming out of his mouth? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Jamal Lee. Jamal! I, I'm Uncle Jackson. Closer. You Toto. Look at that, Tito. Oh, God, I need to watch that. But, yeah, dude, that thing, it would, like, That's attack it. my That's wife because I worked with her, and she, like, dumped hot coffee on it. Because it just went like you get out of the porta potty because he was a cheap son of a bitch and want to let you flush the toilets and you had to use a porta potty. Yeah, he was uh, wow an asshole. But like you come out of the porta potty and you're taking a nice fun cold dump in a porta potty and it's like, a breeze ready to in go. Your boot. I've done that. I've only slapped three birds in my life: a seagull, a goose, and a fucking rooster. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I kind of want to hear the stories of the other birds. <laughs> so do I, dude. Uh, I can see a goose because I slapped the shit out of goose, a goose one time. Dude. Gooses, but a geese? seagull. Geeserinos. Geeserinos are yeah. fucking assholes. But a, a fucking seagull? I, I, there's no no animal on this planet I hate more than a seagull. Uh, I hate them too, really but I've never justified. bitch slapped one for being a fucking. Well, it's <laughs> well, if you're eating sandwich and it's here and you got a beak coming out of fucking nowhere and hitting this, you're gonna. Boom. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Right. I'd fuck that thing yeah. up. And then it shit on my face. <laughs> <laughs> After all that. It's <laughs> like I. Oh my god! I, I've was yeah. it like mine, mine, mine? I've been mine, shit mine? on way too much by seagulls. Like I was eating a tootsie roll when I was like I, five year old, and, and then came back and. Shit. I had the worst. Fuck. I had the worst ever shit on fucking thing to ever happen with a seagull. Is like, I was at. I always wear hats. I always fucking wear hats, right? Except today. Yeah, I was except for today. Well, because I just took a fucking shower, and then everybody was already here, and I didn't even have a chance to grab. I, they're gonna say shit. You gotta take your hat off for that. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um. Yeah, I do have to take my hat off for shits. It's got to be comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Feel the breeze. Woo! I gotta have the breeze because I get hot. It's I get, you want to shit with the breeze. Go meme, shit in his porta potty. That one that meme where it was like, <laughs> one meme was like, I'm gonna start working out today, and he's all sweaty, and he goes, I okay. just took a shit and I'm ready to work out. Uh, <laughs> he's already all sweaty. I was in that shit. Oh, I'm gonna start no, working but, out today. Fucking all. But I was like in high school, and I always wear hats, and I, a bird actually, a seagull shit on my hat, and I didn't know. And motherfuckers in high school are fucking ruthless. They let me walk around like that shit all I don't like to walk around. day. It just talk. I would have taken a selfie like, hey, bro, you looking good today. What's good? What's good? <laughs> right? I, a selfie, but I would have noticed. Like, you would have to do it like the other way around. Where the oh, oh out, hey, bro, you know let I mean? me take like, a picture yeah, of you real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, dude, all day. And they let me walk around with shit on my hat. Like a big old pile of fucking seagull shit. Speaking of shits, Alec, you are a special guest on the Go Deeper podcast. Oh, yeah, shit stories. That means oh. you have to. Um, dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Re- uh, put yourself in a very vulnerable spot and tell us your most embarrassing. Have you ever shit on a couch? I was going to say. I know I, a guy who has. If I get quiet, it's because I'm trying not to mat my pants during the podcast. <laughs> currently. <laughs> I'm trying not to get a shit story yes. currently. <laughs> I, must spit, I must spit beer all over here. Oh. Uh, uh. I mean, like, I can't. I don't think I've ever shit my pants. But I, I'm getting to an age that, like, He's like fuck daily it. diarrhea is like funny, but also like a concern. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I mean, I love spicy food. My mouth loves it, but my asshole's like a forty-year-old white woman that can't finish a sprite because it's too <laughs> right. spicy. So like, I, love, I love. I'm the same way. I love spicy food, but I will be on the toilet like. Uh, but I work from home, so I'm like, if like, I gotta blast one out every yeah. hour, like whatever, man. I don't have anywhere to be. Whatever. Right. After a while, I'm like, okay, this is, I can't but sit mine properly. Hurt, but dude. you know, like fuck. That. You're hitting a video <laughs> like. I have a really good one from my buddy that shit his pants. Tell me. Besides me, so this was in middle school, and we were coming back from Carl's Jr., walking home. Mistake number one. And he's wearing, first of all, he's got white basketball shorts on. So that's oh, like, mistake no, number two. No. But he's like, dude, I got a shit really bad. And I was like, we're almost home. And then I'm walking, I was talking to him, and then I turn back, and he's standing, like, in the middle of a street in a neighborhood, and I just see it just start fucking coming out oh, of his shorts. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then he darts and runs in a bush, like jumps in a full-ass bush. He And there's just like a streak of dirt. <laughs> the there's bush. a snail trail of caca to the bush? Yeah, so I had to ride my bike home, and I'm like crying because I'm laughing so hard. My grandma calls. I'm like, I got to go. My buddy just shit his pants in the middle of a neighborhood. Like, So I had to run him toilet paper and like. Extra shorts. I mean, if we go back there, I'm sure those shorts are still in that bush. Oh my god, that's fucking great. But like we like five mi- five <laughs> minutes, we went to my house, and he just couldn't just straight out. There's no way. That's insane. I've I, walking home with my cousin from the bus before we were driving around. And I, he's like, dude, I gotta shit, and I was like, we were like within. I could see my house, and he's like, 
I'm sorry, Mondo. I'm leaving you behind. He's running. He's like holding his asshole as he's running like this. <laughs> Fuck. I've been. I mean, my wife's seen it all, unfortunately. But I, there's no mysteries. There's no mystery between well, especially us and fucking friends. Portland, dude. If you have to shit and you're like anywhere downtown, I deliver like, there, bro. I know. I'll be screaming. I'm like, you roll the windows down because you're smelling these turd contractions. Because this, <laughs> yeah. this shit, baby's coming. Fart, fart around a turd. Who's about to try to say that shit? Yeah, I'm pushing air around a turd <laughs> around here. Pushing air around a turd around here. Yeah, and I'm. I don't know. It's it. It's gotten close, but I I've conditioned my asshole to get used to like my, spicy. Like it's coming now. Like my asshole is pretty yeah. trained, well trained too. Does mine. No, it's fucking part. not. No, hey, that had that was different. That was that a spur was of the moment, spontaneous shit. Dude, what I heard, I fucking We died. already explained that story a million times. It's so funny, though. You oh, you, yeah. you know what story we're talking oh, about? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was first episode, wasn't it? First or second, yeah. yeah. it was, yeah. Oh, I, so dude, I, I didn't even tell you. I had a total, like, a shit dream about you. <laughs> about you. And fucking was it like a bad and, dream or was it a dream about and Ari shit? was in it and a fucking and uh, and profiles was in it. <laughs> profiles just texted me. I gotta tell you something, but it's gonna be off camera. Okay, so but I am gonna show you so something. This is weird though. Okay. That I recorded last night. I sent you a message, right? I told you I gotta go. Yeah, but I was on the phone with him last night and I was like, Oh yeah, yeah. I got a shit right now. I gotta go. And I sent you a little video, right? And then you sent me, Oh Jesus. <laughs> That's never good. I took a video after that, oh Jesus. You did you take one after that? I don't <laughs> Dude, you remember that meme that Are you gonna put that on here? You I don't know if I should. should I? You should put that on here because that's fucking That's gold. That's fucking gold. Oh, I'm sorry. That's very vulnerable. <laughs> it's super vulnerable. I'm it's sorry, great. guys. But I, I gotta. But I have to tell you about my shit dream about you because it was yeah, so fucking great. Tell me about your so shit like, dream. So like, it was like one of those dreams. Like you know, like we filmed the podcast and we're like, hey, let's go fucking go. Let's go to the bar. Let's go to the bar that. today. And you're like, no, we're gonna go to my bar. And I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Then like instantly we were there because it's a dream and there's no this driving or anything in dreams. Very realistic, by the right. way. Right. But then we so we go to this bar and like uh, they had like a almost like a stage thing and it had like curtains. Oh, you know what I mean? Like okay. around the back, like on the outside of the bar, like kind of on, around the outside of it. And uh, and me and you are still sitting at the bar, and I'm like, I'm going to go do karaoke. And and Ari and uh, Profiles were like, hey, we really got to take shits. And we're Both just of them gonna, simultaneously? Yeah, simultaneously. And they were like, we're going to go behind the curtain and shit back there because <laughs> this bar doesn't have bathrooms. And I was like, uh, okay. Like... <laughs> And they're like, don't tell anybody. Don't say nothing. And I'm like, okay, I won't. And I'm fucking hammered, right, in my dream. So I get up there and I start singing. And I don't remember the song, but in the middle of the song, I, I said something. And people are shitting in here. And I, did it, and I said something like that. And the fucking bartender's like, what? And he looks at me. And then he goes back and spreads the curtains open. And both of them are shitting. And they're on like or little. holding hands so no, they no, can no, squat no, down. No, no, no. Actually, what's great is they were sitting on those little kid fucking potties, like those little tiny ones. Oh, my God. With the, the training potties for oh. babies and shit. Are you profiles? And this is my actual dream, dude. And then you guys were so pissed at me for doing it that you guys left me there. We left you at my bar. You, you left me at your bar because you guys got all pissed off, and I was there by myself. And then, like, I finished singing my song, and I was looking for you guys, and you guys were fucking gone. <laughs> we we ditched you because yeah, we got mad yeah. that we took shits in the fucking. Well, I don't and know. Then, I didn't and then I ratted shit. you guys out, and I tried to call you, and you were like, "No, you're a rat." And like, you would talk to me. I was like, "What the fuck?" I didn't shit though. It wasn't me, right? Did I shit? No, but you were mad at me. Oh, your unconscious know. mind, man. Dude, it was so fucking great. That, that is was, crazy. That I want to know what you dream. think about to cause those dreams. Like what formulated I, dude, that? I, I have no idea. I think it was the one. It's you shitting was. You know what I mean? Because I think that was that was last night. It was last night. That's yeah, true. Yeah, that, that would cause yeah. that would cause cause for that. Yeah. I was literally on the phone with him. I was just like, yeah, dude. And this, hang on. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta. He's like, <laughs> dude, I gotta go. He's like, I gotta shit right now. And it's like, he's like, it's one of those ones with no war. No, I gotta go. And then he just <laughs> hangs up on me, and I was like, "Oh fuck, dude!" Like, do you remember that meme though? The the, the big black chick that was like sitting on a toilet from like Vine. Wait a minute, why do I know this? I bet if I show you, I recreated that on Vine though. But I was like sitting, sitting on, on a toilet, toilet, and then I fucking. Pfft, I was. I wish I could find that because it was it was guttural. <laughs> it was pretty gnarly. Oh my god! And it's recorded the shit 
Oh yeah, like it was crystal clear. See, the only one that those those I knew, whereas like people on the toilet, was that fucking Elmo sitting on the potty or whatever. Oh yeah. And then it's like the one where they did the audio, and it's like boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I shit on company time. One still like, go by that. One, <laughs> yeah, so one, I, uh, fucking... one poop vine that I do remember is some chick sitting on the toilet. She was like, I was sitting on the toilet. I had to take a duty oh, when the yeah, toilet yeah, yeah. Hit, doo -doo, hit the water. The water hit my booty. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you remember that one? Yep, yep. That shit was crazy, too. Fucking Vine. Sign a petition to bring Vine back and get rid of TikTok. Actually, except Alex. He's got 10.2 million views. Right. Everybody's TikTok except Alex. Dude, that one video brought me... I went from... Do you get revenue from TikTok? Yeah, I made like 400 bucks off it. Shut the fuck up! No shit. But I went from 700 followers in that video. I have I have like three other ones that hit a few million, but mm -hmm. um, I'm at 64.8 thousand followers. Holy shit! Like I could hit 120 thousand if I really put the effort in, but I'm out. I can't repost my old stuff because I've gone through it all. Right, right, right. Well, let's just fucking go out and film some new epic shit, buddy. I know, right? But a lot of people put like, "What's your most viewed TikTok?" and it's a like an excuse to repost to a really repost. popular one. Mm -hmm. That's but true. I did like a SpongeBob meme or something that hit like mm. three million, and then I did the workaholics. The one. workaholics one. He's like, <laughs> he's like choking. I gotta add you on TikTok. I don't even have you on there. Wow. Well, I, I, wow. I the haven't fuck, found you. Man. No, no. The thing is, I haven't found you on there. Ten point two like, million, and you're not one of them. I'm just saying <laughs> just like, <laughs> whatever. No, it's like I, I just until I find somebody, I don't add them. I, I know. I'm not. It's because we're too busy looking at yeah. boobs and ass on TikTok, bro. Don't lie. That's that's my algorithm. <laughs> that's my fucking algorithm. What, what is it on mine? Is a uh, uh, fucking goth, hot goth girls or whatever with, with like, big sloppy tits with with, with tattoos and yeah. Cosplay. All, Why is Pikachu got titties? Oh, yeah. I don't know, but I'm following. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's 64.8 off of one video. Like, it's, it's fucking crazy. You did it already go off? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, I thought it had a snooze button. It doesn't. You yeah, know, you might we, want to check it. We should probably wrap it. Gold on there. I was going to say, did you see the guy that repo or the it was an aquarium page on Facebook that reposted my workaholics meme? Yes, and he didn't give you credit? Not until I messaged him. That thing's got 4 million views on And on then I reposted, it, I reposted it, and it's got like 20 views. <laughs> How you doing? Um, That's how it yeah, goes, no bro. Yeah, no credit or nothing, and then you don't see my face either. So you know like, what's really funny? A homegirl of mine who I know, like personally from high school, she tagged me in that video, like, oh, man, I'll check this meme out. And I'm like, I know who did that. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, it's definitely a small world when it comes to that stuff. So you down to a uh, co-film for the Backlash Boys? Co-film? Yeah. Go film, like go hold film? cameras and stuff. Hold camera. What the fuck? Well, that's okay. kind of the idea. Is like, the well, that's that's the whole uh, dynamic of of going in a gang of people. It's yeah, too, it's too hard trying to focus on all of it on yourself. So, like, if you have a group of people doing the same thing, mm -hmm. it makes for a lot more like banter. First of all, which makes for a more interesting video, and there's more people that that's can my capture what's going on. That's my specialty. But we're going to make it, if you're rolling on a GoPro, you edit your GoPro footage. Yeah. And then basically it comes to me to finalize it because mm. I have, like, the most available as far as editing. Yeah. It's well, see, that's, why, that's why I was waiting for, I want to get a computer and I'm going to start doing my own videos. Like I said, I can, I have no problem editing my stuff and all that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it's me, ha me, it's all about having the money to put into it because I put so much into my fishing. In yeah. my tournament season, I put I literally go through like thousands of dollars every year in my tournament season. That's crazy. And how much of my how much fishing, dude? My first order of fishing tackle every year, just terminal tackle alone, is like three hundred fifty dollars. Jesus fucking Christ! Are you every doing fucking year, fucking autographed tungstens. <clears throat> no man, it's I go through tackle. You've been with me. I, I just lost over a hundred dollars in tackle at the last fucking tournament because everything. By the way, talk possible. to me about that. You really shut oh, you fuck, shut yourself dude. down. I, I asked him because he did a tournament last weekend on Saturday, and I was like, "How'd it go?" I don't want to fucking talk about it. I don't I'm even like, want to talk about it. it. Told it was about so it. bad, dude. You told I, I you kinda, about it? I kind of told him about it a little yeah, bit. Fucking tell me, motherfucker. Dude, it was like everything possible that could went that could have went wrong went wrong. It was like all the spots I had planned out were blown out. Like the river was just really high. Oh, raging. by the way, Fish Boy canceled his <clears throat> tournament. I, I, I talked to him about that, dude, because it, it. I wasn't gonna go when I saw that rain. I was like, it's gonna be it, hard the to river. Sustain. Okay, so I do the I go, I check the river levels all the time, and the river levels are supposed to go up five feet in Salem, which by means like at, tomorrow by to, by Saturday. Today. Today's Friday. Oh, today's Friday. Yeah, so it's by tomorrow. 
And That's that means you're talking about over three feet at Newburg. Because that'll that'll raise it about three feet. Newburgh's wide, so mm-hmm. it's a lot wider than over there. And so you're talking about three feet of lift in Newburgh, and that's raging. Yeah, dude, three Del- feet in the Newburgh is huge. I can't fish my ponds right now because <clears throat> the spots I go are completely underwater. Yeah. It's yeah. like fucking crazy. Yeah. But yeah, so that's why I told him. I said, dude, anything other than like an actual powered boat is too dangerous to be on that water. And even it with is, the power boat, even trying to get to any Saturday kind of spots. When I went, last Saturday when I went, it was too dangerous. I would never go out there in a kayak. Like, you're asking to fucking die. Yeah, there's no like, way. you won't just fall off your kayak. You, like, you won't be able to get to your kayak. You might not be able to get to land. Right. There's, like, undertoes. There's all kinds of stuff that you have to worry about that people just don't really understand. That's why people die out there every year. The day before our tournament, they found a body washed up against Ferry. the dock at Boone's Ferry, the place we were launching. Yep. Literally stuck to the dock. Yep. Jesus. They found a body. That's true. That's true. And they it was found the a body. Day before, before they found our a body tournament. on Friday because you know how the current pushes <clears throat> against the dock, mm-hmm. pushed up against the dock. The the dock stopped it from keep going down well, the river. Two people drowned on Long Tom. Long Tom is literally like to the wall to yeah, yeah, right yeah. here. It's yeah, yeah. small and people they, people die on the Wilson every year. The Wilson's like that. That's why I wait until the summer yeah. because stuff is low. I mean, yeah. the fishing's not as great. That's but why we got a ticket that one day me and Memo put into uh, Kirk Pond behind uh, Fern Ridge because of no life jackets, and he's like. I would usually with the cop because the cop got us a ticket. He's like, I usually don't, but we've had like three people drown already this year. And I'm like, well, People drown at Hag every year. They had the whole family that fucking drowned at Hag. That's crazy. They didn't wear Have they found the dad? Jesus. I heard that they never found the dad, bro. I don't know if they did or not, but the whole, I, 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 I scanned I that whole that. area, which creeps me out. I scanned that whole area in a boat, like full on down scan, side imaging, everything, and I've never seen a body. Me neither. So. Yeah, but oh, your I down mean, imaging isn't only going to do it so good where it's 100 <laughs> feet deep. Dude, I hooked a T-shirt yeah. at Swan Island. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> that was about. Like, I was stuck on something, and then I finally got it off, and a shirt came up. So I was pretty sure that was a body down there. And I want to put it past that place. Yeah, no. That, I, don't, I don't know. Everywhere we've talked about yeah. Swan Island is the fucking it, place. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't have, like, cement blocks attached to it or some right? shit. Yeah, like, fuck that place. That's some creepy shit over there. But, yeah, yeah no, so going back to the tournament, when I went there. How'd it go shitty? All my spots were blown out. So everything I had a plan to do didn't work. Um, Some of the other stuff I had planned, I was like, well, this is a backup if it's blown out because I knew it was going to be rough. And all of those had a boat sitting on them. Already? They already had a boat. So I was like, fuck. So, oh, excuse me. But um, it was just so fast. Like, we would go to a spot and I'd try to fish it and I'd try to get something going. And uh, it was just fucking raging. So we'd go on a drift catch a fish on a drift yeah but i would catch one in my the boater didn't so then it's like one o'clock our trolling motor died at noon because of the river was moving so fast we just didn't have enough battery to keep us going and uh God, that's rough. dude it was fucking horrible i lost all kinds of because when you're on a drift there's no stopping your boat if you get snagged on the bottom. You know, oh, you go yeah, back up yeah, to get yeah, it yeah. out, Forget pop it out. It. There's oh, yeah. none of that. So you just like, you're just like, and the you're next like, thing you know, your rod's like, wham, yeah. and you're like, up, oh, and you just palm the palm the air crankbait, palm yeah. the air crankbait. <laughs> yeah. Palm. So it wasn't even that. We use, uh, I use like, I, I don't, I'm guess it doesn't really matter if I say it on here because drop shots. No, it's the swim baits, the Kitex. Oh yeah. Uh, I use a lot of Kitex, and the heads that I use for my Kitex are they're like three bucks a piece. It's a seven dollar seven dollars for a three pack. Tell me, I fucking Texas rig with tungsten. Every time I lose one, I'm like, oh, God, that was like six bucks. That's my drop shot weights are tungsten. Yeah. But yeah, so every time I lost one of those, it's like I, I went through fifteen of those. Cool. And fifteen Kitex, because obviously those go with. And you it. use the Kitex brand and Kitex. Kitex. And, yeah, and Kitex. That's like three packs of Kitex mm-hmm. almost. So, all in all, like line and everything I went through, I went through over a hundred dollars worth of shit. It was just. What did you guys fucking, place? And we placed eleventh. Out of so we weren't bottom. I think it was like fifteen. It was like, yeah, fifteen. Boots, I, I mean, I mean that's bad, but that's not the worst. No, it's not and, last. The, and the thing is, if we would have got, we only weighed in four fish. Oh, I see. But our biggest fish, my biggest fish, tied for second place big fish. Oh wow! At four ten. So is the Columbia also super fucked? 
No, not I don't, really. It hasn't been that bad. That's crazy to me. Yeah. It's different. It's different. I mean, river. Charles is out there all the time, man. But they, but they, it's also it has a lot more dams. It has dams. It doesn't have it's more. Falls. It's more control. Yeah, you're yeah, right. You're so because right. Willamette only has a fall, like falls, yeah. and the only way they control is by putting the boards up, which they don't do till summer, mm-hmm. and then it slows everything down. You know, or else the water, or else it would turn into like a little tiny stream. Right. Yeah. But um, yeah, the Columbia is different. They have a fucking shit ton of dams and the, oh. it'll still you'll be out there and it'll just like they'll open up the dam while you're out there and the whole time you're on the trolling motor and everything's working great and, and the next thing you know you're... the fucking your trolling motor's at 10 and you're still not staying in place and it's just still fucking drifting you down the river and you're like just okay like, oh, time to go yeah that, they sketch. opened up the dam this is fucking gnarly and yeah yeah dude i went through like i spent like 500 on steelhead for my first year and <sighs> yeah. i've i went th- i lost so much stuff because everything Dude. every presentation was like six seven bucks to use yeah oh yeah and you're gonna snag it up after six casts you know what's funny you I'm know what, the only fucking presentation on for steelhead i've ever caught fish on is uh those fucking weird what is it like nylon little bags with the balls in them for the weights oh the i forgot what they're called yeah, the, the slinky weights the slinky, the slinky weights, weights the yeah. ones that go across the bottom those with a fucking corky and yarn yeah, that's, that's like the usually... cheapest presentation other than like the slinky weights, which mm-hmm. that was on my braid and everything else was on like fluoro. The but leader. it's like the cheapest presentation and it fucking, it was the only thing I ever caught fish on. I was fishing with the striker yeah. guys and they've been doing it for 15 years or so. So yeah. I'm like, I'm going to follow what they're doing. But it's like, like every setup's like 20 or $30. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And then the rod and then, like, it's just like. I the can't... license and everything's Dude. fucking crazy And you know expensive. what sucks? I didn't fucking catch a fish. Oh, that's shit, exactly yeah. what I was about to tell Hooked you guys. I can't, I can't justify steelhead fishing. I man. can't do salmon, salmon or steelhead because I've never. To me, it's like the. the it's combat fishing for one. Yeah, you, true. You're, you're, you, you, if you're not there at three o'clock in the morning, you're late. And if you're not on, a, if you're not on a drift boat, because if you're on a drift boat, you can get to spots where people aren't at. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But you a, do have to compete with other boats, but it's not that bad. Like Evan got to the Alsea at four in the morning, and he said it was packed. And that was before I got there. I was like, fuck. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I get, I love bass. I cut my five and a half and it was good. Two five and a halves. But. <laughs> Small male? Largies. Largies, doggy. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Eugene, he's out, he's out south. Yeah, well, I'm, I got no problem getting to, I've caught uh, a seven out of hag. How long ago? <clears throat> that was, what, three years ago? Yeah. Seven and a half is my biggest large one. Wow. Yeah. But that was 2016, so it's been a minute. I saw that video. My biggest. That's my first video I filmed. Really? Mm-hmm. My biggest largemouth ever, I would estimate. Oregon, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, seven the and a half. The Delta doesn't count. <laughs> seven and a half. No, I, I, was, I lived in southern Southern California. My biggest, small, Paris, my biggest Lake, largemouth whatever. out here was, was in, in Lake Paris. And um, let's put it this way. I, I didn't have a scale or anything for that one so i can't tell you the weight of that one but my biggest one i ever put on a scale out there i'm almost spitting god damn it <laughs> beer mustache uh anyway my biggest one i ever put on a scale was 11 6 <sighs> and it was bigger than that my Ooh. biggest one ever i can't tell you how i caught it because the way i caught it was legal not legal but not i didn't legal. know because i was young and really young and did naive and didn't know did you release it of course it did. Oh, then yeah. who fucking cares? Yeah, my but but the other one, the one actual one I have a picture of and everything was, was like, like you didn't spear it, was like 11, it did you? Six. Yeah, did you, you didn't spear it. No, 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 oh. nothing like that. Okay, like I then. caught it line and hook, but oh fuck the it. bait I was using was not legal. Fucking bluegill. <laughs> no, it wasn't a bluegill, but I have caught fish like that before. Wow, jail. Yeah, I ate a six pounder once, and I'm still okay we're gonna wrap it here <laughs> 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 the show just got canceled it was, no. my, it was my second bass ever now that you I know, know what if i wasn't as leery as i was dude i'm fucking mexican they eat fucking shit yeah so i'm glad i was watching youtube videos about people releasing fish and especially like bass the species you know what i mean how it's a, it's a more of a sport fish than it is a fucking uh yeah. than it is a foraging well when fish. you were when i first time i fished with you you guys were you guys had talked about it and everything and i was like yeah, well, no it's, it's different if we like when i was in the emerald bass club the warm water biologist came and talked to us and there was two one got laid off so we only have one for the entire state if wow. you go somewhere like texas that's a stocking program yeah, it is here like 
if you take a bunch of fish out of a pond, like that pond's fucked. Yeah. Like yeah. Delta, Delta was like I could catch five six pounders all day, but like a five or a six for me is like the one fish I get for the year that's that big. Right. Because it's that's, rough over there. That's the thing is that's kind of how like the the Columbia River is. Mm-hmm. Like if you take a bunch of the two three pounders out of that river, you know what I mean, or whatever. If you take a bunch of them out, it's still gonna be a healthy fishery. It's not gonna be fucked. Right. You know what I mean? Because they're so abundant. And there's five man. and six pounders all over that place. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, it's just one of those kind of it's just pond systems and like a six pound largemouth is like a six seven year old fish so yeah yeah it's just you gotta be uh, some people don't get that and but I'm like you if, eat if that you, you shit it out but you're like killing generations of those type of fish you of, could catch in the of future. those genes yeah if you have to take fish man take take a one to two pounder yeah that's fine just don't take a don't if you take have a to five do pounder it. off a of bed and, oh, you, know. you can't tell but the thing is you can't tell people. Like I know what they can and can't take off. It's the, hard not to do, yeah, it, but the steelhead and salmon guys, they get pissed. They're just like, Oh, I take whatever the fuck I want. Those dumbass green fish. They're all invasive and they eat all the salmon and blah, the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'll be like, I bass fish and then everyone, all the steelhead fishermen are like, I'm sorry. I'm like fucking who cares? Yeah. You're sorry about what? That I, I actually catch fish. But I actually catch fish and I didn't fucking lose $200 worth of gear today. Yeah. Dude, oh, I, you fish I for the easy 800 fish. miles ra- like all together for steelhead. And I hooked one, and that was on a drift with Logan. With like, Logan. Dude, I don't understand any kind of fish. You go out there, and you go like, oh, yeah, I caught five last year. And they're like, holy shit, you had a great year. And, like, I and caught, it's like, bro, that's a fucking year it took me to catch five of them. Like, I caught five bass before ten. Yeah, <laughs> I caught, Dude, I caught five bass. or I caught 13 bass on the shitty day on the river that I just caught. what had. I'm fucking saying. And I, I mean, I could only weigh in fucking four of them, but. I mean, Still, our first time fishing together, we caught what eighty smallmouth in a day. It was retarded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like oh, it was, shit, it was I'm... mentally challenged. It was a competition of who could reel in the most fish. Yeah, I like aspirin. those days when I just get like bored. I leave because I'm bored. That was our first day fishing day. together, huh? That's crazy. Yeah. Like top water days on the on the Willamette. Like those are fun. When oh fuck, was it's that like the first time I ever fished with you? No, first time we ever fished together. I was just talking. We were talking about this earlier because when oh, it, yeah. it was one, my it was the maiden <laughs> voyage of my John boat. It was at Hag, and it was at Hag, and it was the I maiden remember. voyage. It was like the first time you had gone ever. out one time before. Yeah, but to it wasn't. Test it out. But it, it was just a test thing. It wasn't to actually fish. Mm-hmm. And then the first time I ever actually fished on that boat was with you. That was a long time ago. And and we were bass fishing, and I caught all the yeah. bass, and he caught a couple crappie, and I'm like, oh, that's cute. I remember I told you because I was like, I was trying to figure out the boat and learn how to fish on it. I was yeah. telling, I was talking to him about it, yeah. And I was like, Shh. yeah. And he's <laughs> out, he's out there just doing his thing like he normally does. So yeah, but there's we actually have a common theme when I go with Mondo. Yeah, there's one that always outdoes the other by a fuck ton. That's the worst. So there is no. And it's like, usually me. There is no. Up like, until recently, it, you've started. Yeah, there is no. Started. There is no like I. Like we do very similar. Mm-mm. It's either he blows me out of the water or I blow him out of the water. <laughs> like one of us is gonna have a shitty day if we go out fishing. One of us gets blown. Yeah, we're blowing really each bad. Other's yeah, one way or the other. That's yeah. Well, one of us gets blown. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the, a good day on the water. Those are some right, those right. are some steep stakes in this <laughs> fucking tournament. But no, like my, when we did a tournament together, we did a tournament. We did what well, we've done two. We've now? done two. Okay, yeah, and both of uh, both the tournaments, I do really well. You do you do pretty you do fairly well in the tournaments. I do okay. I help us out. We I don't need to do tournaments again. Dude, yeah. let's go. It's fucking fun. And well, if fun. I can get the ranger, be like, let me go. Look, I'll let you go. I'll yeah, tell yeah. you come with me. Fucking, I, I mean, I'll try my best. Right. That's all I can promise. We took first in one of our tournaments. It was a shit. I mean, yeah. there was only like five boats, but if I didn't have a partner, I'd tell you to come to come with me to the next one. It's Cottage Grove. I took That's first, but I didn't. Cottage come Grove. Me. He knows Cottage, Cottage Grove, Grove really isn't well. Far from you. I mean. Yeah, it's a, it's a. I know the lake pretty decent. I know that lake really well. I fucking don't. I, he went and fished a tournament in Cottage Grove, took first place. Yeah, with almost twenty two pounds. With he almost twenty two pounds. Yeah, almost all of them are spots. Two. Yeah, my buddy caught a, or my buddy David's buddy caught a five pound spot. Yeah. Wow. I went the week after he took first place, fishing the same spots and the same baits that he was fishing. Zero fish. That's what I was telling him. I pre-fished before a tournament, and I had a really good bag, and I did the same thing the next week and 
Fucking nothing. Not That's a fu- bite. Fuck cottage grove. Never mind. I'm not going. But we to could that go. I, I. You know, it'd be really fun, especially on a kayak. You know, it'd be really fun. We should just go out and take the. I, I should get the ranger. We'll go out. We'll go to Darina. I think you'll like Darina. He knows Darina. I know Darina. I don't know. Is that the one that's connected with Foster? No, no, it's, that's it's up the that's road Green from Peter. Uh, that's Green Peter. It's Cottage Grove. It's, it's like right still there. Cottage Grove. Right? Oh, okay, 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 okay. It just gets really bad uh, blue green algae during the summer, mm-hmm. so like no one really. We'd have touches to go like afterwards. soon, like now. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, it's good fishing. Right there's now. like eight nine pounders in there. Yeah. Dude, you know what? One one another saddest thing you guys have heard so far this podcast. What? It's May of 2022. Hey, hasn't caught a bass yet. I haven't caught a bass yet. I know you told me that. Yeah, we even went to we. Oh, we went ninja fishing. We went to the fucking private golf course at night. Oh, that's even worse. And I, he caught one. We're not gonna talk about which golf course it is. No, we don't it's a private it. one at but night. That's yeah, we, we went there at to. night, and I caught one, and he still didn't catch one. I got a bite. I got two bites. I was swinging a miss. They're selling the golf course that I've caught some big fish out of. I want to like call the real estate agent and be like, "Yo, can I just go fish it?" Like right, right now, or, like nobody get the owns fish it? out of there because they're gonna they're gonna level the whole thing. All this, there's like. Five six pounders in there, and there's no pressure. So Where I, is this? In Eugene. Let's go. I just want to ask. Can we like, move them? Hey, like, can, can we I transport? Like, can we grab? Fish? I mean, I know it's illegal, but like, not if you put it into one of the air ponds. Yeah, the air ponds. Delta, yeah. It's still illegal <laughs> to transfer fish. I mean, I'm not. But do I just want to go there and go fish. Let's go fish. It's cool. Nobody owns it. Well, I mean, I guess until somebody buys it, there's an owner, but. Is yeah. it owned by the bank? I want to call because I don't want to get, like, because the police station's, like, down the street from it. So that's why I'm. Is that where you've gone and done videos in golf shorts and mm-hmm. you're like. <laughs> yeah, I'll throw my, my bait caster in my golf bag and oh, go really? catch some bass. I caught, like, a three and a half. And I also had, like, a 200 par oh, game. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had some guys from high school. I went and they're like, what are you doing? There's no fish in here. And, and literally when they said that, I hooked, like, a two and a half. I'm like. Yeah, ooh, ooh. there's fish in there. Yeah, we had a. No a, one knows. That's the point. In California, we had a place that me and my buddy, my buddy lived on a golf course, and we had, we'd go there all the time to one of the ponds, and everybody's like, "Why the fuck do you guys even risk it?" Because the cops, the cops have busted us there like a million times. Yeah, we still go back because every fish in there was like, like over five pounds. Damn. No one thinks about it. Yeah, and it's a golf course, and it's like you could fucking throw anything in there and catch one. My cousin that was a fun part in California. Yeah, yeah. My cousins do that. They go f- carp fishing with bread, and they've caught bass on their carp on their <laughs> on bread. their bread. Yeah. On their carp. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There's a okay. Imagine so a <laughs> carp bass. It's a <laughs> carp. Oh, right. Jesus yeah. Christ. Check out my bass. <sighs> yeah. But no, like in California, we had like Lake Paris. If you go there and you want to go catch bluegill, like just messing around, I've literally caught bluegill on like the. You take the tiniest like little ball out of a plastic worm mm-hmm. and put that on a hook and you can catch bluegill all Jesus day. Christ. That's caught a they, muskie on a bluegill. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I caught a um, 22 pound fucking channel cat out of, I think it was a channel cat. It was out of the um, the river down, the Colorado River on, oh, the, yeah. on the bluegill. We should do some, uh, some cat fishing at night. We should. Well, we should just, dude, I just want to do a road trip. And just a fishing road trip We've and done just that. film the whole thing. I need to. I need to get out of town, man. Let's do, Let's it. do it. I'm in my room like 40 hours out of a week. I'm going to have a trailer. What's your schedule looking like, Alec? Whatever I need it to look like. Fucking <laughs> hell yeah. I'm going to quit. I'm, I'm going to have, have a trailer. Really? I told you about that. Literally, like oh, I can shit. do whatever the hell yeah. I want as long as I can bring in a little bit of cash. Like I'm fine. <laughs> Dude. I work fine. 80 hours and then I can take the whole month off if I want. I'm, I got to go furlough. Because I deliver to schools and we don't have That's shit That's fucking on. right. You guys are both going to have a lot of time. Okay, I'm quitting Amazon. Bezos. <laughs> 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 if you're listening, you know. Yeah. That's what I do seasonally anyways. I told myself I wasn't going to do this year, but I'm changing my mind right about now. Yeah, I need to. Bezos can suck a dick. Like the the Beer Bass and Buddies video. Like That, that was, was a fun so fucking time. Fucking you heard about that, right? Me, him, and uh, Alec. We went to like the Columbia in the Gorge, fishing, mm-hmm. fishing like those uh, ponds right off of the roadways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We fucking spent the night there, dude. It was the shit. It was so much fun. It was sketchy. There was like cougars on the ridge and shit. He's like, do you see the, do you see the shadows up there? Did you guys see them though? I did. Yeah. Thank w- you. I wasn't tripping. They're horses. <laughs> oh, they're <laughs> horses. I find out in the morning. They're horses. Yeah. But, but dude, that night? shot that Troy got was 
sick. You come over the ridge, and there's like a bunch of wild horses running. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. For some, we saw it on the drone that day, right? For some reason, his fucking footage got corrupted. We couldn't save it. I don't know why. Oh, it's like, it looked good too. It looks so fucking good. I know. I don't know. But he was like, we we're a little stony magoni too. So we're just. It like, was. It was a good time. Like shit. What the fuck is that? We, I've gone camping with him one time, and it was an okay time. Oh, God. We're, not gonna, nightmare. we're not going to talk about that. We talked about we that. We talked about that. I was going to say it was, the, it was yeah, a nightmare yeah, yeah. one. We talk, it, was, it was fun. I had fun. It was great fishing. But we got to do another one. We just got to do a trip where we just go. And we do. I would, I would love to have more people. Yes. I want to have more people, and I want to have. I want to do it, like, big. Like, do it fun. Backlash Boys. Know? That's what I'm saying. Like, we, we could do that and make it a Backlash Boys thing. That's what we're, we want to do. That's the thing is like, dude, we can this shoot. month has been so shit. Like it's hard it's to make it. The, fucking the thing that's crazy is that we could totally film a podcast in there. I don't, this doesn't require, I can run it off of battery. We can run it off battery power. That'd be fun. We could film a podcast like on the, at a campsite. Why not? Like after yeah. fishing Round all day. some fire. We dude, could. It'd be fucking sick. It'd be the dude. shit. Sire, the fire would be such rad lighting too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should do it. I'm down. I let's, mean, let's fucking write it in the books. Besides our concert in June, and then I have another one. Like I'm pretty free. I got to figure out my schedule because I got to turn them in. So I got that, that concert, and then I'm, we're gonna go see. Me and Troy are gonna go see Tom Segura. I thought I was supposed to go to Tom Segura. Let's go. You told you didn't tell you. You said me and Troy. I'm not even invited. Let's fucking see go. All this shit, like I don't even get invited to or anything. Nigga, yeah. let's go. I'm not invited. You told me. Okay, you just stay. Said you and Troy. But if you buy a ticket, then you just. Yeah. Let's get in there. I've got my ticket. Yeah. Troy's got to get his ticket. Where's he going to be? In A L N A, Vancouver. Yeah, I have Slipknot and Tenacious D. That's the only two that I've seen. <sighs> Slippies? Slippies. And well, Tenacious D. That's not a bad line. And I got Greta Van Fleet in September. And oh, yeah. You were telling me. Isn't it like. Mm. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. I want to go see Zach Brown Band, but they're coming to Seattle. I just have so much money in tournaments. It's fucking so hard for me to go to these things. Well, uh, since I'm not catching bass anyways, I'm going to go to the music venues. Well, see, the thing is, like, <laughs> my, <laughs> those ABA tournaments cost me like, you know, two, three hundred dollars each one. That's insane. Probably more than that. That's insane. To enter or just a, for Well, it's two hundred dollars a boat. Oh. And then it's like, well, it's actually, it comes out to like two forty after It's a good payout, though, for winning. Everything. How much yeah. do you take home if you win first? Um... The last one, I think it was like over eighteen hundred dollars. Fuck my yeah. dick. Yeah, that's worth and it. And all the other ones are gonna have more boats. Yeah. So. Dude, this cider's good. It was all right. I like the fucking Dreamland beer a little bit better. <sighs> but anyways, I like thank you for fucking coming on today, dude. Oh yeah. Fucking sure, dude. finally, I know it was super last minute too. You told yeah, me like, yeah. hey, you free on Friday, and I'm like, I. We should yeah. do this again. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fucking down here, man. I need to get. I need to get the laughs, rolling. Dude. <laughs> you know, I got one on Sunday, so I'm warmed up. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for letting sure. us take your podcast V card. If you had more very... time, I'd say we'd re- replace Troy with you. But you know, oh, we should do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, <laughs> no, just playing. Nah, it smells like you. Troy, uh, he's super. He's finished with that project. He got paid for it. So it look good, but it's he's not still bad. Not here. But he's still not here. It's, he's literally working today, because the. The project that he was filming mm-hmm. is for the opening day, and this today and tomorrow is opening day. So he's working at the p- opening day. Where you didn't see his video, did you? Fuck no, I didn't. Is see he? His video. <laughs> I work, bro. I, hope he I, doesn't I was get just dicked around too much. That's what I'm saying. They they treated him like shit, so that's kind of why he was in the fucking in the slum. So I'm just, I feel bad for him. Yeah, but I mean, I I I, I fed chickens and goats and shit. And then I did a tournament. You fucked goats, and then I fucking went to work for fucking all the. You know, I work and shit. That's why I haven't seen his shit. Mm-hmm. I've been busy since his shit came out. Yep. So. Yeah, I appreciate you guys having me down. Fucking hell yeah, dude. Anytime. Yeah, it's great having a filmographer. Filmographer? Filmographer. Filmographer. That's racist. Filmographer. You guys are making fun of the way I speak. I no, sp- that's what you called him. I speak good. It's not even a fucking... It, it, oh, no, my God. It, it is a word. I found it. It is a word. See? It is a word. I was That was but, my argument. I'm like, it's a fucking word. Fuck you. But it's like... It's more like filmography. Mm-hmm. You know Everyone what I mean? Just asks it's a list of. So it's fine. Filmographer is like the list of films or some shit like that. It's about a list. It's a word, it has, though. It's, I believe you. It's, no, it's fucking goddamn. Are you not a filmographer? Videographer. Videographer. So you don't do films? I mean, I'd call Cold Steel kind of a film. So you're a filmographer? I try to make it. Who film. made that video, that film? Videographer. It's a film. 
It's a he's a videographer. Whatever. He's just like cinematographer. The Go Deeper podcast on all social medias. <laughs> if you guys think I'm right, give it a like. If you guys think Matt's wrong, give it a like. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Until next time, uh, Alec. What are your socials? Just Northwest Fishing on YouTube. Northwest Fishing 18 on Instagram. Northwest Fishing on TikTok. That's about it. That's about it, right? Northwest Fishing. Northwest Fishing. Yeah. Just not Northwest Fishing Secrets, please. <laughs> yeah, that's another. That's a whole another can of worms. Yeah. Which if we can get that guy on the podcast, that'd be fucking hella dope. I'll talk to him. Talk to him. He's the, you're the only one he talks to. <laughs> Kinda. Kinda. He's a busy boy. He is. I don't blame him. He's fishing secrets. Life from yeah. uh, Washington. He literally. Is that the, that's the guy who? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. He like hikes into the mountain rocking. and yeah, yeah, camps yeah. by himself. He's the fucking shit, dude. I yeah. love his fucking videos. Guy, I've watched a lot of his camping cooks and shit. It's and the fucking that. shit. Which, by the way, he hasn't dropped a video in a minute. Yeah, he, he's got a great personality. That's what people. He love. does Cheetos and crested fucking trout. So that sounds. He good. did do that once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds fucking. It was a shit. Amazing. Oh, yeah, but that's Northwest yeah. Fishing Secrets. This God, my so homie fat. Alec is Northwest <laughs> Fishing. I just think about food. I'm so fat. I'm so hungry right now. Yeah, let's get some food. How about that? Right. Just fucking Troy. Oh, we didn't even say it because Troy won the weight loss thing. But whatever. Oh yeah, Troy won the fucking weight loss thing. Let's not talk about that because that's what we're It say. doesn't give. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Fucking. You know how much weight I lost in three months? Zero pounds. <laughs> I lost five. Like as of right now, you're down five. I'm down five. Nice, congratulations. I was down like almost fifteen at one point. Now I'm down five. And then you got hungry. No, well then, yeah. Uh, whatever. I don't know. Long then story I just short, Troy, basically I stopped giving a shit. So yeah. Troy lost like thirty pounds. I gotta keep the weight off because I'm four foot three. So like. <laughs> four foot three, right. <laughs> He has this. He has this chair really boosted up. Right yeah. Now. yeah, yeah. His feet are dangling. Yeah, I got high heels on and everything. His, His feet are dangling <laughs> still. So yeah. He wears a buck twenty soaking wet wearing boots. <laughs> <laughs> so All right, guys. Until next time. Thank you guys All so right, much for go. watching. Peace out. Peace. Bam. Yeah. Woo.